Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adyne mod. I know everyone's been waiting for this to come back. Anyway, so whenever you go, whenever I go back between Adyne and Age of the Ring or whenever or ever mod, I have all these empty slots to fill back in again because you have to delete all your save progress because some factions co uh, kind of cause problems with the way they're put. So we have empty slots everywhere, and I'm going to play it going up top from top to bottom. So firstly on Andrast. We'll see how well we go. Playing as Isengard. Ooh, Isengard is a tough, tough cookie to start with. Who am I playing against? That's what I want to know. Up oh, against Gondor. Okay, that's not bad. Gondor isn't oppressive. As oppressive as, say, like um, an Angmar. That would be... Oh, that would be evil. Me to have to go against an Angmar this early. Uh... I'm going to try and focus on just building up economy as soon as possible. I do know there's a troll lair in the center, but luckily Gondor isn't very good at dealing with trolls at the beginning of the game. And in fact, if I let them just build here, that troll should get rid of that building for me. And I'm going to get some wild men. Because I've not used these in a long time, and I feel like I should be. Shoot them off, Orakai. There we go. Nice and easy start. Nice also to get Wolfgar built up quickly, because he does buff our wild men quite a bit. Quite a lot, and we are going to want that. There's also a lair down there I want to take, preferably with just Wildman. March down now. Last of those Gondorians should be dying soon. All cleared. None can stand against me. Now I could. Immediately go against that troll, and give you the but I feel like having that barrier between me and Gondor is going to be very useful. So for now, I'm just going to wait, trying to make sure I see my Wildman and not my en my enemy's Wildman from this lair. Very hard to tell the difference. Let me tell you that. I'm going to build this into a lumber mill. I don't think they're going to come this far. Forward. To turn these units into pikes, because I'm going to send those pikes to deal with that. Meanwhile, those pikes are going to get crushed. Now, keep giving me vision of what's going on. Gondor's already got rid of the troll. Well, that didn't last long, did it? That's bad. That's really bad. That means I've got to deal with Gondor quickly, and they're going to get an economy boost. I need to get an economy to boost as well. Golem this early? Oh, hell no. What is it? But yeah, Gondor with that economy boost right now is not what I need. That means trying to deal with them is going to be impossible. I'm going to need some... Oh, I'm going to save up. Go, go for industry routes. They're not being too aggressive, so I don't need to go down my aggressive tree to get extra damage. The summons are good, but let's not push on that yet. I have one, two, three resource buildings. I'm going to get another one. I'm going to build a Warg Sentry. Because Warg Sentries are really good, even against Pikes. Probably not against Pikes, but, you know, they can do it against Pikes. Just point me at them. One, two, three, four. We built the Wog Sentry. The Wog Sentry is built. The weak will fall. Use all those hunter arrows whenever, ne whenever possible. But I might auto aim them. That's unfair. What is it? What is it? My rage is all consuming. 
So we know two things. One, the troll is dead. Two, Gondor, in particular, is a very infantry-focused faction that has some very dangerous heroes if we allow them to build up. And we try and stop them from building up. Like now, they're building up a lot right now. And then just use the barrage powers. So I might actually be sent to the retreat ones. That can kill Wildman pretty quickly. Have the log center do a bit of work. And now have the fight with my turn. Okay, since we're in this kind of situation, I'm going to throw on the tainted land. Right here in the center. Get some tower, extra towers. Probably going to run another wild sentry in the front because they are good at killing enemy heroes. The weak will fall. I need the room to not get focused, so that's the building is probably going to fall. But that is fine, we'll just build another one. They're very cheap. Cheap and cheerful, how I like it. Okay, now we can get extra resources for our kills with our Wildman. Which is really good against Gondor, because their entities give a lot of cash. None dare stand in my way. Make sure we keep getting plenty of wild men. Let's get some axe throws too, because they're really good. They're probably worth getting um, fire torch out upgrades as well. And in fact, you single unit are going to go around somewhere for me. The weak will fall. Need to do a bit of micro wing. Because they've already got an, they've already got a hero as well in Imra Hill. And another hero in Baragond. And I don't have any way of dealing with heroes right now. At least not a good way. We've got two wild sentries though, so that's going to help with killing heroes. Because yeah, look at that the chip damage. Oh, it's beautiful. I wouldn't call it chip damage, that's chunk damage. We're going to turn those into pikes, and we'll set them as a separate command group. Preferably keep them that way. So I can go around and take down these layers down at the bottom of the, back, bottom of the map. I need those wild centers to do their work because I cannot fight those heroes. They are too good. There we go. Yeah, I think there's a wild layer down here. I need to go down there, find it, and destroy it. I need more wildmen of all descriptions. Preferably not more command points. More towers, though. Definitely more towers. Build that up. Don't care too much about the supply routes because I'm gonna just gonna push right through it. Crush your enemies. To crush your enemies. See them driven before you and to hear the lamentation of their women. Kill that wog and then destroy this quickly. As quickly as possible. That's two more heroes, fall back. The wogs are the perfect counter to Boromir. They will just kill him. And keep I him no just fear. back. If, as long as they don't get knocked down. Yep, he's getting focused now. None dare stand in my way. Okay, almost done it. And destroy. Break and tear. Okay, don't let, don't what fight Boromir in a corner. Then his power becomes is a knockback does become too dangerous. Kill them. The Affiliate Rangers. Let's leave Boromir to die. He's dying now. There we go. Good, good. That's two extra settlement buildings and extra income from this. I'm actually going to get this now. We are going to need some uh, good units now. Oh, that was a wounding arrow if ever I felt one. Okay, Boromir is walking in. Yeah, the Wild Centers are so good at killing stray heroes that are quite foolish in this walk into my base. Because they're just as fast as I'm going to get two more behind. We have four power points. I am going to go down the right side of the tree. So if we started down the right side of the tree, we should continue down the right side of the tree. My rage is all consuming. I know I always, I'm, I'm always very flip floppy about the uh, Wild Men. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, they're amazing. Sometimes they're like, no, you don't need to I would say on camp maps as small as this, you are going to want the uh, the fast acting uh, wildman. 
cheat in the last. And you may think, oh no, there's a pikeman. They're going to kill our wild sentries and the wilds inside them. And yes, you are right about that. But they also need to do other things. I forgot I need to build an armory because my buildings aren't upgraded or aren't upgrading automatically. So let's do that. As well as getting resources per kill because 24 resources for a kill on a Gondor Knight is very good if you didn't know. It's very good. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of moolah. In fact, speaking of moolah, let's get someone who's really good at giving me moolah. To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their winning. Oh, that poor wall doesn't know what to do. They're so cute. What is best in life? Crush your enemies. The weak will fall. With iron and steel. Okay, Gondor has been firmly put in their place. We've got lots of resource buildings. We're going to upgrade them. What is it? And build some more. I'm going to check that these laborers are still alive. We have all five alive. Perfect. That's the number I want. And to hear the lamentation of their women. And yeah, because the AI, despite um, what I sometimes say about AI cheats, when you have your, when, when an AI constantly throws all of their power at you, all their economy, in trying to defeat you, if they succeed, it can ruin your battle. But if you can break them quickly enough, then they just are constantly just throwing chaff at you until they get to the better stuff, the better powers and such. And then they have to really get a good victory out of you, like, like killing your entire army. If they can't do that, then they are just stuck. And you can really, not exploit it, but you can really get an advantage from having a weak enemy, unable to fight back. Now Gondor, mind you, has one of the best ways of coming back with the Eagles in Army of the Dead and the Dunedain. So I'm going to try to avoid direct confrontation with them. Where I am at, a archer, I am at an archer de uh, deficiency. I need to have plenty of range units to deal with the Eagles. And that's why I'm pretty much spamming them right now. Because we want archers. And yet... Upgrading our buildings. Upgrade the buildings again. To make more money, more defense, more everything, because I need more of everything. They're attacking our resources. And yeah, just charge in. I'm I have a feeling that they're going to have a um, they, they are going to start using evil soon. So I want to have these guys alive and healthy. And preferably with these torches I'm getting them. I'm going to throw down my snitch and he's informed me that Imrahil is alive. How delicious. I shall use that as an incentive to kill the thing. Speaking of, let's get the minions of the White Hand, or at least the ability to get them. They're attacking us. Ready. Okay, let's spread on Tainted Land. The Tinted Land. The Painted Land. I heard what sounded like someone um, loading up a very powerful shot. Let's speed up recruitments. Wolfgar just got split in two. I should probably send him back a bit. Okay, we still have the army, but they have got heroes, and we're clumped up. Let's not use it as, an, as a time to just let ourselves die. They didn't make any money from those kills, sadly, but you can. We're making plenty of money. I'm gonna take that center building. I'm going to take that center building. They built a signal fire. Whenever a Gondor AI builds a signal fire, don't destroy it. They get literally nothing from the building. They don't get any resources. They don't know how to recruit from it. Just leave it. Because they don't do anything with it. It's perfect. That, that is the perfect excuse of a building. Just to be left alone. I will lead. Without delay. 
Uh, they've got some troops building up, but I've also got uh, four settlers' tools now in my building, so then I'm more heavily defended we than ever. We've well, also got two more of them. They're about to kill my laborers, aren't they? You heartless bastards. Did you just say you hate my laborers or prefer to spike me? Oh shit, there we go. There's the eagles. Focus one at a time. I'm sure they actually died. Probably don't focus quite here. But, oh, my army's dead. Uh, can I do anything to prevent this? Nope. Am I going to cry? Just a little bit. But you won't hear it. I can potentially get them out of here. If I can get Wolfgar out of here, that's really good. Because that means I don't have to be real again. But yeah. When this kind of thing happens, when your entire army just gets destroyed, you have got to try and build up again as fast as possible before the enemy has a chance to use your weakness against you. If they lose your, if, if they use your, to crush your enemies, quiet time you, as a chance to build up an army, then you are going to die. There is, there's no if ands or buts about it. You have to have an army at all times. If the AI, if you don't want the AI to just instantly kill you. And this cavalry is gone. I'm bringing up more force, shooting at either the building or the wall. I cannot actually tell. And that is terrifying to me. Um. Get workers' tools. What is best in life? Obviously, we should be upgrading our economy, our military. But I think just going, going full Wildman right now isn't a bad idea because the woman's got Wolfguard to level ten, and when he does, it gives all of our units instant level, uh, in, in, instant, level 10, instant heavy armor. And I can get an army spammed out quickly with Wolfguard. So we want to keep him alive. We want to keep him alive, but also give him some um, value. Speaking of value, let's actually use these powers we are about to assemble. Let's get the other two as well. So when the first one dies, we can use the next one. Not dear, stand in my way. Take me closer. Come closer. I have something. They destroyed my building. No. Watch best in life. Crush your enemies. Oh, they the uh, Paragon summon troops out of thin air, which you can't technically do. He should technically be able to recruit them from. Oh, someone else was there. Oh, oh, these guys are big Nula. Oh yes. Oh, but and destroy. Portal almost got. Killed off. Let's not let that happen. There's laborers back. I haven't done that yet. Dragon's trying to run. Well, he's got me more money. Thank you. Let's get alerts now. And while these guys are still here, we'll rebuild that mine shaft. The weak will fall. I have no fear. Well, they just use the power from me summoning some guys. That's pretty good. Now, if you didn't know, this is technically the only unit, or the only cavalry unit in the game that is actually 15 entities. No other cavalry unit in the game has 15 entities. Makes them even more unique in a way. Yeah, those wildmen over there have been doing really good. Put on that tower. The weak will fall. Just point me at them. Now I'm gonna speed up the recruitment process. They're doing better now. We've got the Wildman from Dublin. What is best in life? Crush your enemies. They're gonna kill my laborers again, aren't they? Who's attacking us? They're attacking oh, our maybe just get a kick out of it. I don't even know anymore. This is so rude. Don't know what these guys are doing, but they're about to die as well. 
the weak will fall. Yep, we've already got an army of our... I say our best, they're not our best yet. They will be soon our best. We have so many of them. That's good. Very good. What am I going to build here? Probably just another mine shaft. Doesn't really matter. Flash your enemies. Flash your enemies. Oh, that's a uh, Faramir. I'm forgetting that Faramir doesn't have a bow in this mod. What is it? I kind of want to say for the steelworks. I'm going to do that. Why do I keep thinking that's uh, 3,500? What building do I think? What building am I thinking of that is actually worth 3,500? Uh, nope, can't think. <laughs> how how much though? Uh, uh, fine, I'll deal with Faramir. Your enemies see them driven before you and to hear the lamentation of their women. Oh no, I lost the building. I don't take orders from Hawk. Saruman will have his prize. We will don't need that. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I should probably turn some of these guys into Watch pikes. That's what I'm going to do. Crush your enemies. Get your crops. Don't get lost. And I'm going to the rest of them torches. Oh, this army's already looking a little bit stronger than the last one. Hopefully, hopefully we won't get AOD'd immediately. That, that would suck. I don't think they've done enough to actually warrant get, giving them uh, that AOD yet. Although if they did, it's not like they've got much to deal with. Uh, they've not got much to uh, work with. For now, anyway. They could always find a way. But no, I think I think now we're past the danger period. They need to really force me into a corner, which they haven't done yet. They have to really force me into the corner. But instead, no, I'm just pushing them into the corner. The other way around. Uh, let's go for Saruman. If, even if, even then, if they do AOD us, I can then actually prevent it. Let's not spend any money. So I can actually get Saruman. Eighteen resources per tower guard kill. All oh, that is precious. All oh, that is precious indeed. And a few more of these guys will be nice. We do need them to deal with. Them. Is all nice. I have no more laborers. They killed them all. What is it? What is it? Hey. Hey. Half my army died. I don't know what to though. Well, I've got another power, so I'm gonna use it. That one's finished. Take back our lands. Oh, those are my guys. I thought those were the enemy. Charging up behind me. Oh god, my throat hurt then. I felt that it was a horrible look like throat. How's it looking? We've got hardly any axe throwers left. What happened? What is it? Did they just all get trampled and died? Is that why my command points hit rock bottom again? Oh dear. Give these guys all banner carriers. Is all consuming. Or at least the ones that need it. I have no fear. Yeah, and soon Village we won't have to need, a, need for fear because we'll all be armed to the teeth still. with heavy armor. Imagine Wildman with heavy armor. They're already dangerous. Imagine even more dangerous. And now Saruman is here. Let's get Lurks off his bow. I don't know why he's still on his bow. Oh, no, I'm lazy. I forgot. That barrage is a problem. Let's walk out of it. Soon we're going to give Saruman his robe of many colours. And hopefully the ring. You have elected the way of pain! Lifted into the air. A few more of those into 
pike wielding hobos. He's almost there. He's almost level 10. Come on, we can do it. Come on, Wolfgar, you can do it. Do it before you inevitably die to it. Uh, them using Army of the Dead. You can do it. Or when, before they throw the eagles out again. They could also do that. Oh no, they just summoned something. They, su they did something. That, that was white dust. That was not something I did. That's not something I could do. I don't know who did it or why it was done. They've given up on making heroes. Oh dear. It's that bad, eh? I'm just getting these upgrades for when I never get, do get AOD. I just want to be able to say, yeah, we, that happened, but now I'm going to build another economy. Here's the Eagles. I can't fireball them yet. I'm not the right level. Come on, kill him. Oh, Eagles are really resistant to fire. Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. They're not very resistant to lurks, which is good. There goes, there goes Gwai here. There we go. Arm them all to the teeth. That's it. These are the last bomb you'll ever see. So I'm not making any more. Now these guys are here. We're going to start transitioning into uh, Orakai. What is it? Just because at this rate, we might as well get uh, the best. We're making the economy to get the best. We might as well actually get the best. Rufus exploitation. Where's a nice plot of trees I can just burn? Oh, I found Golem, so I think it's over for the AI now. There he is. In his little corner of the world. And he's soon going to give me the ring. Like the furnace is nice and day. Let's see how much this building gives me. Per tick. Let's just watch. While we get the ring. Let's get the ring before it disappears, before I see if this ever takes. 216! 216 resources a tick. That is a tier 3 power, by the way. My god, that is so strong. Which Saruman Man did we get? Saruman Man the Curse. Oh. I do like Saruman Man the Blast, but I do like Saruman Man the Curse too. Because fire works. Yeah, we get fire or lightning. You don't get both, you can never get both. Well, I mean, you can get both in a game. But it's not easy. You have to have, actually have Saruman die and then pick up the ring again. Which, believe me, I've done. It's not easy, I don't recommend it, and it's probably best against Gondor because of the fact that they can just spam uh, AOD. That's the best way to kill a Saruman, is not the dead. But I think they're not going to get it in time. I think I'm going to end it before we get the chance to summon the army of the dead. You have no power here. You have no power here. Gandalf the Grey. Who hasn't actually come out yet. He is sit sitting in the ivory tower. Oh shit, there we go. Well, I wish it wouldn't have happened, but it happened, and I probably can't stop it either. Commander the Cursed. Do as much damage as possible, Saruman. You're the only one that can do damage. The Army of the Dead. You have to be the one that can destroy it. Or you are going to die. That is the, the two options we've got. We've lost everything. Okay. We lost everything. Well, that does suck, but I expected that to happen. There was no way we were going to survive against Army of the Dead. And there we are. The rage was all consuming. It finally consumed him. 
We have we still have one hero alive. Oh dear, I'm not gonna get Saruman back in time for the ring, but we can at least say we got the ring once. Last it, got, had it for five seconds, and then we killed him. God damn. You never expect Army of the Dead until it's too late. You never expect it until it's too late. I saw my command point start to drop, and my face dropped with it. Oh. That's fine. Just need to rebuild everything. It'll be faster with Saruman on, on the field. I just wish I hadn't died so close to the enemy base so I could have actually got the ring back. Actually, it's already half gone and I've not even got Salmon half back. Nah, I wouldn't have got it in time. Get Lurtz back. I'm not going to get Wolf Girl back. I'm going to get Grima though. Okay, we've got the Captain. We're getting there. Yeah, level 5 Orokai are a lot harder to kill than level 1 Orokai. Throw down the power. Well, they just threw down the uh, Grey Company. Good, that means it's going to stay over there. Golem's right over there again. Well, I know where I'm going to find the ring. It's worm time. Watch what you say. Once they die, I remake the new. The other champion of Wolfguard, uh, champion of Wolfguard, champion of Isengard. Yeah, but I can't get him yet, shut up. Yeah, talk about comeback mechanics, alright. Comeback, me comeback mechanics are plenty in Gondor, because all their powers are life-saving. I mean, I mean all of their powers, all of them are life-saving. Oh look, it's Halvorad. Who wins? Halvorad or the Warg? I think the Warg is going to lose. Personally, so I'm going to help him. Political grades. What's oh, so not doing yet? Oh, okay. I guess the slowest upgrade. Saruman the White has returned. A lowly level 3, but we'll get him back to having the ring soon enough. And maybe even Saruman the Blessed will appear instead. Which will be even better because he does, actually does really good damage against Arms of the Dead if he think that gets summoned again. But let's be serious here, they're not going to live long enough now. They had a chance to die honourably. Now I must kill them the long hard way. It was now die a painful, agonizing end. And I'm very eager to give to them. After what they just did. After that show. After that showcase, I'm a little annoyed. I'm ready to kill some people. And we're still rolling in cash because we got enough power points. It's not level 5, will become level 5. Now, where is Gollum? Not here. That's problematic. If I want to get the ring it is, at least. Bring them to their knees. Make them beg for death. And deny them. I'm gonna get both of them back. I feel like he deserves it. Not he deserves a chance, he just deserves to come back. Just to die again. Uh, whenever I see cavalry, I start. I actually kind of. Um, Shiver a bit because I'm used, I'm too, getting used now to seeing cavalry in a medieval two setting again. 
So I'm always afraid when I see cavalry, I'm just gonna get charged and I'm dead. Now then, where is the ring? Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. You have elected the way of Let's build him first and then move on to the next one. Good, good. And then this once and for all. I'm sick of trying to wait for the ring. Raise the land. Stay in the land of the blood of our enemies. That won't save you a second time. Throw this down. Time to kill them all. Burn them all, I say. And good riddance. Go forward. Not there goes Bill. Poor little Billy. Billy lost his. No, I'm going to stop there. There isn't somebody above this outpost over here. I just wanted the game to finish quickly. I'm forcing you places to be, and I forgot about it entirely until right now. Don't judge me, I'm only human. I know someone out there is going to judge me for this. There we go! Victory! First map won. Now on to the next one. No, not right now. Oh. Hope you've all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Farewell for now.